Hello, this is Asadik, and this is the demonstration video for the AI Line Helper version 1.5. Uh, and this version supports a couple new features. I'm going to try to go through kind of like the whole kit and caboodle uh, of just, you know, how you would use this from, you know, if you hadn't ever used it before. Uh, and then also discuss these new features as I'm kind of going through um, how it works. So in <clears throat> a set of course, uh, uh, you can have these side files, side L, side R, and they live in data. And these uh, define track boundaries. Uh, sometimes, you know, people create these things out of Blender. Uh, what the AI line helper is doing is allow you is allows you to create these files just by driving around the track. Um, so this is one of the files over here. And... Uh, these three columns are the ones that a set of courses is going to be reading. And then I added in a fourth column uh, for the position on track. And then we'll see a little bit later how that becomes relevant. Um, so those are the files. Um, this is the, the code here. Um, so if you were going to record, let's say you had a, a track where you didn't have these side files and you needed to make some. Uh, then you would load up the app. <coughs> into a track that maybe was problematic, maybe it doesn't have a good AI line, maybe the AI is behaving oddly. Um, so this is my app here, AI fi uh, line helper. <clears throat> and we're gonna start by using the track left or the track right. And so we're just gonna do track left. I click it, it doesn't do anything because I'm not moving. Um, so as I start driving the car, you'll see it says start tracking left. And then this is the position on track, which we were just looking at in that other file in the CSV. Um, so when I'm driving lines, I normally like to be in a uh, kind of a chase cam view. And then we're going to drive up to start finish. I'm going to slow down a little bit. And I'm maybe going to start driving this. So you'll see now it says tracking left. So that means it's actually tracking where I'm driving. Uh, and if I were to drive a whole lap around this track and then come back around, and then this would go back to just showing the name of the track. I'm not going to do all that because that would take too long. But that's how that would work. And so that would be you're creating this file initially. And then, of course, when you got done driving the track, it would spit this file out. So, <clears throat> let's just assume that I did that. You know, I did the left side, and then this thing reset, and then I went back, and I said, okay, I'm going to restart my session, and now I'm going to track right. Of course, it won't let me do that, because I've already started tracking left, and I haven't finished a lap. Um, and you would exit, you would have these files, and then... You load back into your session and you hold shift here at this point. And then this will force a set of Corsa to load the side files. Um, and so these yellow lines are really hard to see on this track. Let's see if we can, uh, you can kind of see them up here maybe. Let's see. Yeah, like right right along here, you can see the yellow line. Maybe just, it's very faint. <clears throat> you should be able to see it better on your monitor. Okay, so let's just assume for the sake of, you know, argument, like I need to re-record part of this right one. So I'm going to say part right. And so what that did, if I hit the home button, you'll see it loaded this side file into memory and it loaded it into a dictionary in Python and so now I'm gonna go and I'm not <clears throat> if it's loading it from the dictionary I don't have to go drive the line on the side of the track if that's not the part of the track that I care about fixing so here you'll see it says uh, dick right this is for dictionary. Now let's just assume uh, that I want to fix 
part of this line up here. Maybe it's just a little too far away. So I'm going to try to drive on the line. And I'm going to say, you can hit the hot key, which is control F4. You can bind that to something on your wheel using joy key. Or I'll hit the button here. So now it's tracking where I'm driving. I'm going to maybe just drive this closer to the white line. And now I'm fixing this portion of the track. And now, okay, let's say this is, uh, that's, that's close enough. Now I'm going to drive back onto the yellow line, and I'm going to hit this again. And now it switches back to the dictionary. <clears throat> and at this point, if I don't want to drive the rest of the track, I can click Finalize. And then it just exported this file with the current timestamp. It is 834, roughly. So then I can load this thing up into Notepad, and these are these are all. Most of these values are from the dictionary, but from the previous file, except for that one portion that I just re-recorded. Um, so, that is how that works. And so if we exit, and then I'm going to say start, and I'm going to hold down Shift. And I'm going to go just drive back over. You gotta be careful not to kick the back end out because this car will do that. So now we should see this line being a lot closer. Yeah, see right here, this is the part we just fixed. Where this line is now a lot closer to this white border, the white line. So that's how you can record your lines and then record your partial lines and then finalize them without having to drive the whole lap. And you really want to make sure that when you're starting your partial line and ending your partial line that you're you know blending sort of in with whatever was there before otherwise you'll end up with an odd sort of you know it kind of juts out or something and it won't look very straight and the ai will just get confused um, so that's how the ai line helper works and this the ai line helper these sidelines will help to you know keep the ai in a reasonable place on the track and to keep them from being confused by strange shapes and things that may have been part of the side as it was defined when the AI when the fast lane was recorded so that's how that works hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions please uh, put them here in YouTube or on the race department thread thank you